Now, back to the interview from a few minutes ago with Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. The best of the morning X. 99X. Hey, Robert. Yeah. You're on with Mark Cuban. Yeah, man. I was wondering, you know, other than the Mavs, what is the, the coolest toy you got? Um, the Jet probably is right up there. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, being oh, we're just talking about it. I got direct TV and being able to just chill and just fly anywhere. Oh, man. Just pick up and go. It, the guy's got direct TV on his plane. Oh, what is that, a 12-seater, 16-seater? Uh, 15 people. Man. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. What do you drive, man? Um, I have a 96 Lexus truck. <laughs> the uh, uh, 40,000 miles. No, like, Ferrari got, or anything? Nah, man, I'm, I'm not a car guy. Uh, You've okay. got the 450. The, yeah, the truck, yeah. But he's got the Gulfstream. That, that yeah, takes yeah. up for all of the... It gets uh, me to the airport, you know? Uh, all right, well, all right, man, appreciate thanks. it. Thanks. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hey, Dan? Yeah. You're on with Mark Cuban. Hey, Mark, how you going? What up, Dan? Um, when you were uh, you were on a couple months ago on radio, and you said that you were starting to dabble in the uh, record business, I was uh-huh. wondering if you got that rolling yet, and if you did, how do we get uh, our stuff to you? Yeah, you know, I was in a group that was going to get that going, and some things fell apart, so we're still trying to regroup on it, but um, we're we're paying attention, but we don't have anything happening right now. So just keep your ears open, and and when something happens, then you'll know exactly where to send stuff. Okay, I'll keep uh, emailing you on the site. Thanks, Dan. What kind of music are you into? Uh, Hip hop, you know, R and B, old school funk, um, rock go, and roll. Do you go hey, to a lot of shows? You go to a lot of concerts? Um, that last concert I was at was Jay Z and Nelly. Uh, did you, uh, yeah. did, Nelly. did you hear it's all about Nelly? You too. I'm going U two coming up. Have you ever Bob. thought of having a party like just in your backyard? Yeah, we and did hiring? actually. Actually, we did. Who? Really? For my my partner's um, birthday party, last birthday party. We always said when we started broadcast.com, um, we said, okay, if we ever hit it. Right. We're really going to hit it on one of our birthdays. So I, I have this big backyard, and I went to school at Indiana University, mm-hmm. and the big band, local band, done good, John, John Mellencamp. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. So who'd we have in my backyard for like 75 of my buddies? Johnny Did Cooper. it give you a deal? No, he didn't give me a let me deal guess. at all. No, let, me guess. You... Uh, let me guess. I'll take a guess. Uh, I would say Mellencamp in a backyard. 100? Well, I know he gets like 200 Two. for an amphitheater. 250? More oh, than two fifty. He robbed three. You. Yeah, no, yeah, well, that's pretty. You had pretty... to pay for everything. You had to bring him in. You had to do all this. Wow. Wait, three plus expenses. Yeah, three hundred thousand plus expenses. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He, no, he he took it to no us, but you did. know it. But hey, was he? You know what? He. Well, I won't make you bad. I won't, yeah. I won't, let's let's go to Mark. Mark, right. you're on with uh, Mark Cuban. Hey, Mark. Uh, those DJs sound really nice. You should buy them all Porsches. <laughs> what a cool that, idea. That is a great idea. Yeah, what a cool a idea, idea yeah. man. I'll go by the Hot Wheels store tonight. And <laughs> What uh, was it like <laughs> living with Rodman at your home? Actually, he was a lot mellower than people think. You know, everybody really? thought it was going to be a zoo. I thought it might be a zoo. You know what? He, you know what the guy did? He'd sit at home watching the Cartoon Network. Man, I became a real Johnny. <laughs> he's Bravo very cerebral fan because of Dennis Rodman. Uh, no, he's, he's yeah. yeah he, uh, he just chills the whole day. And, and when he, even when you go out with him, it's not about Dennis being out of control. It's all these freaks that just come out of the mm-hmm. woodwork just to be around Dennis mm-hmm. Rodman. So he'd sit back there, you know, and I'd be sitting there talking to him. Even when Carmen was there, which was another part of the freak show, um, just drinking. Um, tequila or drinking kamikaze whatever but not getting you know not going over the top but everybody around him just i mean every cross dresser everybody who wanted to prove that they're crazy would come out and you would see thousands of people just converge around this guy well last amazing. year he was driving around that tour bus for rodman tv and he was actually right. driving the bus himself and following the band live around yeah yeah he's really into those guys and he hangs out with them all the time but um carmen was at your house too no, I, I mean, I've hung out with him, but yeah, right. Carmen has been at my house, actually. I take that back. She Is she smart? I've never really had a conversation really? with her. Really? Yeah, but um, she's smart enough to have him wrapped around her pink. Oh, yeah? yeah? Is he hooked? Like, He's whipped? Big time, big time whipped. He's, yeah, that's what I hear. Now, uh, let's, say, let's take this guy right here. We got another yeah. call. Mike. Hey, Mike, uh, you're Mike, on with hi. Mark Cuban. Hi, Mark. What's uh, up, who's Mike? Who's the coolest player you got to hang out with? Player or... or player... player uh, Celebrity. Uh, celebrity. Celebrity as, as uh, someone other than uh, on the Mavericks. Um, probably Chris Tucker was pretty cool. Courtney Love was pretty cool. Chris Tucker and Courtney Love together. That was the dinner. That was <laughs> uh, that was. We had no. This is this is pretty cool. We're in L.A. for the Lakers game, and all these people I've been meeting. You know, it's been really it's been fun. But we had a dinner. We had Jerry Hollowell from the Spice Girls, Courtney Love. And Chris Tucker, all there wow. at the dinner table. It was wow. it was a trip, man. It was fun. I bet. So you had mentioned. Thanks, thanks Mike. Colin. So you had mentioned Thank you uh, you're not married. You got a girlfriend. Uh-huh. Uh, how long have you guys been together? A couple years. So that's good. She's been there from yeah, you know, not, from the not from the beginning, but no, you know, 
I, I, I she pretty was there much October got, 12th. Yeah, yeah. 1999. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. <laughs> uh, I, I think she was. I don't quite remember. <laughs> uh huh. So you uh, you thinking of getting married soon or? You know, you, who knows? I try not to think about that part of the. Uh, I bet she tries time. to think about that. Part. Yeah, I, I, I try <laughs> to put that part aside for right now. I, I I'm with you, my brother. <laughs> All right. Uh, any more calls? You know, you can also yeah. ask about like things like. If you care about broadcast.com, if you know a lot of people called up, they have these startup companies wanting to know, you know, what's going on with that. Wanting advice. Advice. Mm-hmm. Hey Tom. Yeah. Tom, you're on with Mark Cuban. Hey Mark, how's it going this morning? What up, Tom? How you doing, man? Doing all right. Listen, I was just curious. Is uh, you know, you had this great dot com idea, uh-huh. and uh, of course you you did well with it. Uh, how did you go about starting it up? Really cheap. And you know, everybody thinks when you go out and start a business, go out and get lots of money. Don't mm-hmm. do it. Sweat equity, baby. I mean, I've had two businesses I've done really well with, and both have started out of the, out of a bedroom or out of apartment with uh-huh. no money down. It, you know, it's all about if you got a good idea, then the, the idea should stand on its own. You put a little hard work into it, and then good things will happen. And the key to making it work: go out, find yourself a customer. Everybody thinks you got to go out, raise all this money, you know, make a big to do about it. All you got to do is find a customer. What was your second thing? You said two. Broadcast. Well, first, no, first was a little company called Micro Solutions. Oh, okay. I started right out of college. And when Thanks, when Tom. you sold Yahoo, or when you sold Yahoo, when you saw bro- broadcast to Yahoo, what was the stock at the time? Um, broadcast.com stock, like 130 bucks. I don't remember. And what is it there. now? Uh, well, Yahoo, yeah, Yahoo's gotten crushed like all right. the other dot Yeah, coms, yeah, I know. Yeah. But fortunately, I hedged all my stock. Right. You gonna give some of that money back, Mark? Yeah. Give some of it back. You gonna yeah. give some of that money back? You feel bad for him? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is it? What, what is it? It's like thirty. Oh, yeah, or? yeah. I mean, Yahoo stock got as high as 250. Now it's like 35 bucks. The yeah. night that you sold that and the deal came through, did you sleep? No, I don't think so. Well, how long were you up straight? <laughs> I would have been up for three days. How did you I know, sleep? I, I know. I, I mean, I was so jazzed. We went. We were in New York, um, and then back to Dallas, and and it, well, actually started in San Jose. And it was funny because we sold the company. I was doing all these interviews to all the business press and everything, and then I had to get back to Dallas. Right? We're just pumped up, having a great time. And the only way I can get back was on Southwest Airlines. <laughs> and so I, right, I, I hey. caught the well, I caught the last flight on Southwest. And you know in Southwest they have some of those seats flying oh, the last facing the last way. So right. I get the last seat. So here I, I just sold a company for six billion dollars. <laughs> right? Southwest. And I'm on Southwest on the last seat uh, facing the wrong way. That is an awful thinking, your knees are knocking some. Yeah, guy. Exactly. I'm sitting next to, you know, this smelly guy thinking, you know, this is justice. And it's, uh-huh. it's, it'll always keep me humble and I'm glad it's happening this That's way. But funny. It, yeah, but it was fun. Uh, is that what, what if, led you to buy your, your uh, American Airline round trip for forever or whatever? No, oh no, my, my lifetime pass I bought after I sold my first oh, after, company. Okay. How much was it again? You said I forgot. It was like well for mine it was like 125000 125 lifetime yeah, and lifetime pass. Whole system wide, yeah, and they don't sell class. them anymore. They don't sell uh, them. Angie, yeah, you have a question for Mark Cuban. Yes, I was read in my boyfriend, Sports Illustrated, that you are Jewish. Uh-huh. And I was just wondering if you are practicing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not like super devout, but yeah, you're Jewish. Uh huh. Every day. I didn't know that. Yep. All right. All right. Every that's, day. It's two of us. <laughs> there you All go. Right. I figured you had known that. So I, I was. I didn't know that. I never knew that. See, I didn't. All know. right. How about that? Okay. Thank you. Fine. Very Bye, good. Angie. Mark, thank you very much. My pleasure, guys. It was nice I to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Anytime. Yeah. Right. The best of the morning X. 99X.